Okay, guys. Okay, let me get in, get into frame here. All right. Hello, everybody. Wilson EUC, about ready to lift some weights on this weight bench. Oh yeah, we're gonna get strong. No, just kidding. We're gonna do a tire change. Uh, I might get it all done tonight. I might just get part of it done. Um, Cause my girlfriend is just about ready to go to bed. So I can uh, at least show you um, myself preparing the tire, getting it ready to be put onto a rim. I'll show you how I do it and it works pretty good. And what you're going to need is a tire, obviously. And I'm switching from the stock knobby tire on the veteran Patton to the Shinko 241 SR. And this is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need some baby powder, a bag. Um, zip ties this is no, the sizable zip ties let's just say that about a foot <laughs> and the tube and to be specific with the type of tube uh, it is a 16 by 3 16 by 3 and you can get this at um, e-wheels now the tubes do not have or the valves do not have the caps so it does kind of matter because you don't want to get baby powder inside that and uh, I just took the cap from the patent tire and just put it on to protect the insides of the valve and what I'm gonna do is put this in the bag after I put some baby powder in it. Put more than that in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the tube in the bag. Just like so. Do a little shake and bake. It's shake and bake time, guys. Shake and bake. The purpose of this is so that the rubber doesn't grab onto the inside of the tire. And I'm going to put some baby powder inside the tire too, just a little bit. And what it does, it decreases it decreases friction inside to prevent it from kinking up inside and possibly causing a pinch. So we'll just coat that very well. And I'm actually gonna go to my PC over here. Let me just show you what we got over here, guys. I'm in my room, obviously, so I got my Sherman. We, we got a mess, we got a mess here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go over here and just sign on to the live stream that we have going on right now. What's up, Spartacus? What's up, my man? All right, so we got the chat up. We go back over here. And my girlfriend just finished her bath, so she'll say goodnight here in just a second. Okay, so that's good. Now we're just gonna put a little bit of baby powder right inside the tire, and you might have to loosen up the tire a little bit. And I'm gonna put some baby powder inside. Probably about like a teaspoon or a tablespoon to start off with. And just kind of guide the baby powder inside the tire around 
You might have to do it a couple of times. Oops. It's okay to get someone yourself. It's just baby powder. Some people say use talcum powder, but I haven't had any issues with baby powder. Yeah, we're gonna need to put a little bit more inside. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. And so already the rubber is getting kind of slick. So that's what we want. You just want that inner tube to slide slide around easy. I'll put just a little bit more. Boy. So I just, I always try to get this done first, first thing before anything. Because the less I have a wheel disassembled, the better. I don't want to have my wheel disassembled for a long period of time. So we get, while the wheel's still intact, we can at least get this step done. Okay, so I think that looks fine. I don't know if you can see inside, guys. but we got some baby powder inside and we're gonna cause a mess right now. Okay, a little bit of a mess. And we're just gonna gently take our tube out. We're gonna slightly inflate it. And my portable pump right here. And let's see. see it's not pumping up. Good night. Good night. Love you. Can I'm you shut this? Well, yeah. No. I'll close it. I'm not going to hear that. Well, I'll, I'll do part of it tonight, okay? Good night. Good night. Love you. So I got this to about 6 PSI. That should be good enough. And as you see, my girlfriend and I have different uh, schedules. I work the overnight schedule. So I am awake during the overnight since she's going to sleep. So I'll get part, at least part of this done. Let's see. Spartacus says, nice prep work. Uh, looks like you uh, have done the tire change thing before. Yeah. How did you guess? I'm going to actually bring you guys back up on my tablet. So that way I don't have to go over to my PC. Let's do that instead. Let's do that instead. Uh, live. We are live, right? So show my live streams live. <laughs> Hey, we know this guy. Who's this guy right here? Okay. Where am I here? I can't, I can't see myself live here. Can you guys see? Me? Come on, man. Your videos.
Huh. It's not showing me live on my tablet. All right. Wilson, UC. There we go. Tyler Turner, I'm about to pass out, but good luck with it, man. Hey, man, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So what we're going to do is put the, the tire into the tube very gently. Very gently, like. But with the tube slightly inflated now, it'll be easy to put inside the tire. And we can see where it, it might pinch and where it might not pinch. my ferrets in their cage all right so I'm just trying to see if there's any issue or any issues that could arise from this tube I'm actually going to put a little bit more air into this Let me show you what I do with this. We're not done with the prep work yet. All right, so a lot of these tires, sometimes they have a hard time going over our rim. And the way we're gonna be doing the patent is we're gonna be installing the, the tire onto the rim uh, when the rim is already halfway, already installed on the wheel. So I'm not taking apart the whole wheel. We're gonna take apart one side of the patent and just so this tire can fit over the rim easily, we're gonna put some zip ties over the tire and create a larger circumference uh, around here and it will pop on the rim very easily. I've done this a couple times already and it works great. So I, for this, we're gonna need probably two zip ties zip tied together and we're gonna just close the gap. And I might need my wrench or my pliers. But you gotta just be careful that you're not pinching the tube at the same time. And I keep the valve in the middle between two zip tied areas. We're gonna do a triangular stretch. Let's make sure that tube is right inside that tire. Oh, oh broke that. I broke that. <laughs> I can't believe I broke that. Do that again. Come on. Come on, man. Let's do this again. What's going on here? Okay, that was weird. I can do that again. Sorry, we're running into some technical difficulties here. Never had this issue with these breaking on me. All right, do this again. I 
then we're going to do the same. Actually, I'm going to put another set of zip ties closer to the valve because I can see where this might get pinched. see but we're closing off the gap in here so that way when, when we put this on the rim there's a less of a chance for you popping uh, the inner tube so this is all prepped ready to go and I'm gonna put that off to the side and we'll get ready to disassembling the wheel very quietly we don't want to wake anybody up. Or do we? Hmm. <laughs> Take a brief intermission. I'm going to just put this stuff away, stay organized. Clean myself up a little bit. Lucifer, what's up, my man? You got here late. Uh, I'm going to have to watch this whole thing later to see the prep work. Okay, I'm actually just getting started, my man. Just getting started. I just showed you how I prepare the tire and um, the inner tube. So we just got to pop it on the rim and that's it. Uh, George Bourbon, good luck. I appreciate it. And I'll probably split this video in probably like five parts the most. Let's get right into disassembling the wheel. And I briefly looked at the video from uh, Two Cells, One Pack. And I might have to refer back to it a couple of times. But for the most part, it looks like it's about the same as uh, Sherman S. Just a lot more screws. So let's get ready to rumble on that regard. And let's bring this pattern. Here. Put that there for now. And get my handy dandy electric screwdriver. Where is it? Electric screwdriver. -er. Okay. Bear with me. <clears throat> All right. So, bought a couple new new tools. Uh, I bought some magnetized hex bits. That's going to be very handy very very handy oops <laughs> um, and some hex T keys set so when we have to uh, screw the screws back in or need to be really gentle we have these and they're nice and long get enough leverage to it back in. 
So that's going to be very handy. And we're going to need an H4. H4. And we're going to get the top cover off. I think these are magnetized. Oh, come on. Might be able just to pop it right off and not have to worry about taking it off. Yep, nice. Okay, top cover is off and the screws stay right in, so I don't need to worry about that. And let's put that in a nice safe area. We'll put that on my bed. And this is what the top looks like, guys. I don't know if you can see that right now. Just looking at the live replay on the computer. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. We're going to just assemble the battery connections. Pretty straightforward. You know, you got this side over here, this side over there, this side over here, that side over there. So, let's see, we'll just take a nice. Let's take a nice inspection of all of this together. Where are we here? Liac Dupont. What's up, my man? How you doing? Okay. So it looks like we just gotta unsnap that. And that's the fuse, right? That's the fuse. If you ever confuse, that's the fuse. Okay. Trying to be gentle. So I don't want to make a mistake, you know what I mean? Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. And I'm gonna drain the power. There we go. The power is drained, my lord. Okay. What do we do now? Well, let's, let's figure it out together. And we are going to be working on the left side. Let me just double check if that's the right way. Two cells, one pack video. Just want to double check. Actually, you know what? We're going to reference that for the rest of the video. Two cells, one pack. To the rescue. Two cells, one pack. Paton. Patent tire change. There we go. If you, you don't know who this channel is, do it right now. Two cells, one pack. 
Yeah, Albert and I think his lovely uh, wife right there. And let me just double check to make sure he is on the right left side. He's on the left side. Okay. Okay, so we got the top off and we're going to work on the left side. So we got to make some adjustments here. Let's put you over here. Move the camera. <clears throat> the phone. And uh, we're going to need to unscrew some stuff. Now I have these power pads on there. And they're a little bit pain of the ass. But I think I only need to worry about the left side. So, H4, so this is still on H4. These already have Loctite on there. So you do have to take off the light. I think you have to take out the light. Yeah, you have to. Maybe not. I might not have to take off the light. But I can loosen this. Oops. That would be... I think that's an H5 right here. Yep. So the, the handle, there are screws on each side, and those are H5s right there. I think they are. Yeah. Just going to loosen it up. I'm not going to... Yeah, I think that's fine. Like, we don't need to take the whole thing off. I think. Why don't we just, why don't we just take it off for now? Okay, so that's one side of that done. And we'll do the other side back here. take off the tail light. I don't think I need to. Doesn't look like I need to. And 
see, do we got comments here? I'm oh, sorry. I am trying to focus on this too. So let's get this back up. Uh, give me one more. Give me one moment, guys. I mean. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm literally in a small little corner of my room. Okay, now I can see you guys chat. So great, got you on the side while playing games. Got a few days off, so enjoying all EUC content on the nets. Says Layak. And are you going to leave the motor wire connected to do the tire change? I have no idea. Please tell us if screws are mostly uniform, unlike the V12 with 68 screws, mostly different types. So far, they've been all the same size. Around the shell, they have been all H4s. The handles have been H5s. Hex. Alright, so I need to get... So I need to get okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Put up the grab handles and gotta figure out a way to get this up. Uh, Okay. Okay. Let's get the screws off on the side. I'm, I'm trying to keep the power pads on the best as possible without taking it all apart. UC Vibes, what's up, my man? And am I missing anything? Let's see. Yes. Kickstand. So, there's another one right over here. Ooh. Oh, there's one thing I did not notice. Okay, so the H5 screws. I have one that's longer than the rest. Shit. Now I don't know where that went to. Kickstand, maybe? Because that's, that's what George was saying. Make sure that, it's, that they were uniform. And I have one, I have one that's longer than the rest. Okay. So where did that go? The only thing I can think of is it went on the kickstand.
Oh man, we got more screws. <laughs> Tilt that off to the side. I don't need to take that apart. H5. Where's the H5, man? Give me that H5. There. Let me just tilt that out. So, this should be all the screws that we need to take off. All right, I am going to take this, and this is going to be outer cover. Okay, so everything that we did with uh, everything we did with the uh, outer cover, you're gonna put it all in a plastic container like this, labeled, and put it away. Okay, let's fix the camera position. It's all zoomed in. Okay. So we need to take the battery off. So we'll. Okay. So there's screws behind here. Okay, I really, this is where I don't know what I'm doing. So let's refer to the video. You did. At this point, you want to disconnect the batteries from the side of the pack. Now let's remove the plastic accessories. Now after you remove the one-sided screws, when you're doing the tire change, you can lift this out and rotate it. And that way, this allows you to remove the battery pack without having to remove all the accessories. Ah, commercial. We've dreamed of creating a better future. Now, we're setting out to be carbon neutral by 2050. I didn't give you permission to put advertisement on my live stream. Come on, man. Skip it. You get, give me a fucking break. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, let's do that. Let's get the trolley handle out of the way. Okay. 
Okay. Now you gotta take take them off. Take them all off. So let's take them all off. Okay. Well, that's all we need to do is take that one off. So that's it. <clears throat> all right. So I can rotate this off to the side. Off to the side. Okay, so now we can take the battery packs off. Really running out of room now. except for the one at the top here that shows the suspension. Those are five millimeter hex. When we go back to do the reassembly, I'll show you that the, there are different lengths of these screws. So just making sure that the correct length ones are in the correct position, and you'll be fine. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we're still on the fives. Wilson said he was, he has a long, what? Wilson said he has a long one. <laughs> You're a funny guy, man. So let's change camera position again. And you can just watch me fuck up, you know. Okay, so that's trolley handle. Now we're getting the battery off. Once we get that done, then it should be easy. Oops. Nope, that's not the right length. Okay. This is where I'm kind of feel like I'm rushing, so I gotta kind of slow down. This is where mistakes happen. Getting too excited. Let's take a deep breath. Okay, H fours. What's going on? What's going on? Talk to me, talk to me. I'm going to have to take this whole trolley handle off because I can't get at it. There. That's off. What the hell? What's, what's banging? Long one might be handle. 
check mirror side. Um, it's an it's an H four though. The handles were in H fives. So I'll figure it out when we get to it. So far, everything has been uniform around uh, for the battery. So yeah, we're gonna need to take, take off the light. Might probably only need to take one off one side for the light. All right. All right, I need to refer back to the video again. Hmm. Releasing the battery pack. Once all the screws are removed from both the suspension as well as the top, this now box battery box will be free to move. Okay. We need to get the ones on the top. That's right. Duh. So. Let's see what size is that? H five. H five on top. Wilson said he has a long one. <laughs> I'm going to tell my kids this was the Lynx. Okay, man? And I'm going to say, hey, you got to get the Lynx, man. Really awesome. You got to get Tommy one, man. Tommy needs the Lynx. Send it to, send it to the Brogs. So what I'm going to do, instead of taking off this entire Grizzla pad, I want to keep the bottom position, and I already have <clears throat> my place settings already for the top. So when I put this back together, it's gonna it should come back together the way I had it. So I'll just put that off to the side. Those screws are very small. I'll show you guys those in a second. I'm sorry I'm not showing you everything in great detail. But these are H5s right here. H5s, they're pretty small. Okay. And I should be able to. release it let's see do I have all the screws off do I need to take these off ah oh, damn it <clears throat> back to the video Okay. 
the Velcro. Ah, damn it. Okay. Ah. Give me a second, guys. I'm getting a little claustrophobic now. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so here's the battery box. Just took it out. Pretty, pretty easy. It's, it's pretty easy. It's not too bad. But, got these little rubber gaskets up here. There we go. Okay, the trolley handle was perplexing me there for a second. All right, so that's all set, and I'm gonna put this off to the side. And we just need to take take these off. So let's get these off. Take a breather. Slow is good. Take your time. That's right, guys. This is this is where I'm getting a little not stressed, but anxious. Because I know I can fuck this up easily. And I don't want to fuck up any of the screws. I don't want to go through that trouble like I did last video. So good. <laughs> So we're gonna find the screws that I just played around with. I'm gonna label those. And battery. Battery trolley. I know what that means, so we're all set. Battery trolley. And now we're working on This. These are going to be H4s. <clears throat> Did I take this? Oops. Get some music on too.
Suspension. Okay. So I don't think we need to take off all of these. I gotta double check that. H3, H3. A Robocop. Leaper Kim, I fucking love you. Just zip, 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 the thing comes out. So let's take that off. H5. I think that's an H5. H5, nope. H5, H5. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. magnetized driver. Take it off just like that. All right, we're gonna need, need to make some more room here. So let me move this over here. And All right, any comments? Do we have any comments here? Let me pull you guys back up. Magnets, magnets won't always work. Chinesium bolts. <laughs> right? We can make them stronger and better.
Okay, and then we'll do a valve core removal in just a second. Music has been brought to you by White Bat Audio. Be very gentle because we don't want this valve core poking into our eye. Shooting, shooting into our eye. Into our eye. And I think it's already out. Is it? Can't tell. Ugh. Valve core is out. Okay, so we need to get this out. I'm tripping over everything in my room. Here. Stay over there. Okay. So, let's see. I never had a mess with the tire already, um, with the rim already on half a wheel. So, this might be a little tricky for me. But we got to get. Get the valve stem out. I suck at tire spoons. I'm not even too sure how to use it correctly. I do know this needs to come out. I need to get this valve out. Ah, oh, 
Come on. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, because putting on the tire is easy. I just can't get the fucking tire off sometimes. There we go. I think this is what we need to do. <sighs> Come on, you motherfucker. Get off the fucking rim. <laughs> How the hell do you get this fucking thing off? I'm chipping paint on this fucking rim. What the fuck? Damn, that's unfortunate. Closer together with spoons, start opposite side from valve. Okay. Thank you, George. I'm not happy with that paint coming off. Uh, okay, so it's opposite side from valve, which is right here. I can't do it. I can't get it out. Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you the whole thing. I don't want to cut, but I'm getting a little frustrated now. Baby steps. Okay.
It's Come on, man. Okay. Where is okay, it's over there. Work the opposite side. I just don't have no leverage. All right, I'm gonna shut the video off and once I get it off, I'll restart it. I'll be back.